All right, let's take a little break. One thing we've needed during this time of chaos and change is a good laugh. And millions are getting it from one reporter who used to be part of the WJZ family. He's using his social media shine to bring some light to his hometown of Baltimore. Right about now, we could all use a good laugh. And for 18 seconds, 7 million people and counting are getting it from Baltimore native Dion Broxton. Oh, no, Broxton. I ain't messing with you. Oh, no. One lady emailed me. She said, I, this is the first time I laughed in five days. As a reporter in Montana, Dion's covered at least 20 stories at Yellowstone Park. It's now closed because of COVID-19, which was his assignment for the day, but nothing was quite like this visit. They started, like, moving towards me. And it was the one that was closest to me, like made eye contact with me and he didn't stop walking towards me. The other one, they were all kind of like moving in a group. He waited for the bison to move, but that didn't happen. So he did. I've covered stories in Yellowstone where the girl was tossed last year. The man went viral like two years ago for like taunting the bison and the bison charged at him. So that all that stuff is playing through my mind. I'm not trying to be on the news. You know, black man, only black man in Montana killed by a bison. But the Towson grad who once worked as a web producer for WJZ did have news dreams, moving 2,000 miles and Montana mountains to give them life. It was pretty scary. I lived in Baltimore my entire life. It was a good learning lesson. I remember when I was talking to Vic Carter about it, when I was like, you know, narrowing him, my decisions down from the offers I had, he uh, said, you know, go, go be somewhere far because you learn who you are. His 18 oh seconds of fame. Oh my God. Remind people to laugh when they feel like crying. Oh no, I ain't messing with you. Oh no. While knowing there's no place like home. I miss Baltimore. <laughs> uh, I miss WJZ. Anybody who has met me in Montana knows how much I brag about Baltimore to let people at home know that one of their own is, you know, trying to make them proud makes me happy. He wasn't playing around. That Baltimore accent came out fast.